Hey what up decisive marketers, you SEO geeks are gonna love this video today because this tool that I'm gonna be talking about, it does more than just rank tracking. This is amazing for all marketers alike, not just from an SEO's perspective but in general how is your marketing working out? What is your reach, right? So this too allows you to have a better idea uh, on your organic reach itself. So uh, this too does more than just rank tracking. It actually pulls out your entire um, sort of uh, your top competitors out from the search results and then you can actually um, have a good idea on not just looking at your rankings but your competitors rankings as well and on top of that you can insert your youtube videos your social media profiles your um, any other uh, urls you want to insert it as well as putting in like guest posts uh, and stuff like that and looking at your entire scope uh, of your organic reach right so that's really powerful with this tool and this tool is called nozzle right so before we dive into nozzle be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content so here we are in the nozzle dashboard right so i on i'm on uh, uh you know one of the dashboard uh, of the of the team itself so the first thing here is uh, this is how it looks like they have a dark mode and a light mode okay i prefer the dark mode <laughs> as usual uh so uh, we can actually take a look at the you know the data here they got uh, above the full percentage what's your estimated traffic and the url and stuff like that so the first thing that i have done is uh, uh the first thing is you got to set up your team okay and your keyword uh you know your keyword sources so uh, i have added uh these ones in here so set adding a keyword uh source is very simple uh at the moment however they uh they they allow you to put in basic keywords that means just type in the keywords yourself uh you can upload a excel file uh, in there you can also uh you know generate a template I've not really tested that out. Um, I've just used basic uh, keywords right here. And you can actually sync uh, from Search Console and BigQuery when they have uh, that feature roll up, which is, uh, it says here, coming soon. Okay, so you can put in the, uh, you know, the name of those key, uh, like the keyword group itself. And then you can put in the keywords because i've used the basic uh ones right so there you can choose your devices which is desktop or mobile uh, and they have other devices here as well it, it doesn't just um check like your uh, they have like you know tablet on android tablet on ios mobile on ios as well and your locales uh so it doesn't just you know um track like uh you can even track like uh base of base from city and location and all that right so this so 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 this is how accurate uh nozzle does it um you can track from like a like a specific location within uh like uh within the country itself as well so that's how powerful it is and then your schedule okay so one thing to take note of is uh nozzle uh charges you based on like how much how many pools you have per month um for for example the plan that i'm on i have twenty one thousand pools per month okay so i uh so if i use daily then it will with eight keywords then it's gonna cost me uh three hundred and twenty Per month okay so i've just put in some keywords in here to you know check right and it pulls from desktop and android and then uh, you can set up keyword groups so they can group those keywords together and once you're done you can just you know save right so the next thing is then you want to set up brands as well so you have those keywords but you want to set up your brands as well so uh because you want to set up like 
uh, which are the domains you own, which are your competitors, either they are direct competitors or, uh, you know, um, indirect competitors or replacement. I don't really know what that is. And it got friendly and neutral as well, right? So I have put in uh, this one here, which is my own. Uh, I put it as own, and then. Uh, you so you can put in the uh, reputation impact so the more you have of your own brand then of course it's going to you know affect you positively right so over here it's really exciting because let me just show you that what we have here right? so if i click on quick add you can see that they have a bunch of stuff here they got amazon storefront they got the domain so if you are e-commerce store then you also sell on amazon then of course amazon storefront is an extension of your seo efforts am i right so this is where you know nozzle really stands out uh, from your competitors um, and then you've got domains uh, ebay store facebook instagram twitter Pinterest, Twitter, you can also import your YouTube videos, uh, your Walmart marketplace, uh, and also unique URLs uh, of yourself, right? So it, this can be guest posts, press releases, or other stores that you sell on that are not listed here, like Amazon, Walmart, uh, maybe you... Uh, maybe a uh, directory listing or whatever it is that you want to uh, have uh, you know ca uh, count that in as well right so you can add all that asset in here and track them all together right? which is uh, pretty pretty amazing right here and then you've got segments okay so like um, uh, so this one allows you to segment some of your uh, search results so for example if it's a uh, app then you can you know if you are selling an app then uh if the search results is an app then it will be marked as as uh, as an app itself right so we're gonna go back in and view the dashboard okay so this gives you uh you know you can select firstly you know your brand um, I'm gonna select uh, okay so we have this is my brand here and I can see how many keywords I have uh, what is my average ranking and uh, it says pixels from top right so uh, so basically how far you are uh, from the top result so it means like how much you have to scroll before you can see your result something like that okay so then you have above the fold uh sub like how much you occupy the sub result itself as well so it gives you really deep data right and then you got click through rate um of course and then estimated traffic ppc value uh unique urls and your overall uh result okay so so what they give you the data is not just like telling you what is your keyword rank that's all but it also tells you how much you have to scroll before you see your search results um of the entire page of the search results how much uh of the search results are you occupying as well because you got featured snippet you got your google map search results things like that and they calculate that in as well as how much you are occupying the entire uh, search results page right so i i think that is you know uh, of course really important as well and uh, you can see like your keywords um you know uh, these are the rankings and uh, the different segments that you have urls uh, rank group and stuff like that and then these are all the keywords they tell you by your ranking right here and of course blue it will be the you know the highest ranked one and then green will be you know it's good uh, it's between you know 7 to 10 and if it's go if it goes to red then it's you know ranking is no good all right so you can view by the keyword group by segment by url by keyword and all that okay right so the you know this is based on the url so my home page is of course getting the best uh you know 
result right here and then we can look based on keyword okay so I can actually look at it based on keyword which one is giving me the best results and so on right so the next one is uh, I'm going to select is actually the share of voice okay so one thing I forgot to uh, kind of show you is that uh, okay let's go to share of voice this is where you compare yourself with your competitors right so uh, you can actually put in like uh, two of them and then apply and you'll be able to see like your the both of you uh, in comparison okay so uh, at the moment I think it's only giving me this one here uh, let me see okay because I've only just um, added this brand not long ago right so it's taking a while uh, to load but but what happens is that you can actually put in yourself uh, because it's still crawling for the data for this one so it's not giving me um, anything yet right but what happens is that once uh, I can actually put in my competitors and I can actually compare how am I faring against my competitor right here so that's actually you know something really interesting for me right and uh, so this one because um, it's not a bug but I guess it's because they have not gotten the entire data yet so this one is uh, from this uh, competitors brand right here and uh, there is no data yet right so um, nonetheless right what I think about nozzle is that I think it's really uh, powerful too because it does more than just rank tracking it it also tracks your competitors how you fare against them it also tracks extensions of your brand as well not just your domain but like your social media your youtube channel your guest posts your whatever your your e-commerce store on amazon on uh, walmart uh, on ebay whichever it is right so um, it gives you a more comprehensive idea about how your business is actually doing from an organic point of view right so I highly recommend nozzle I would have to say uh, it's an amazing tool compared to um, other rank trackers out there it's more than just a rank tracker but an overall um, sort of organic reach brand tracker or something like that okay so i think that's all i have in this video if you enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up um, and let me know what you think about nozzle in the comments below and lastly if you uh, know anyone who could benefit from like a brand um, organic reach tracker uh, or seo rank tracking to <laughs> uh, be sure to share this video with them and I'll see you in my next video